In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the copy, print and scan with your Epson ET3830 printer. So let's start with the copy. Now first thing is to place a document for the copy. For example, place it facing downwards on this corner. Now go to the printer screen. So there are options available here to copy. So click OK. Here we can do black and white and color and we can also adjust some settings. Once we are ready, we can simply click on this icon and it will start the copy. Next thing is to do the printing and scanning. Now printing and scanning can be done using the Wi-Fi setting or the Wi-Fi direct setup. So make sure your printer is connected with any device. Once it is connected, we can simply go and do the printing and scanning. For example, I have connected it with my iPhone. I'm going to scan. So in the same way, place a document facing downwards. Go to your app and click on the scan button. Click on the scan and it will start the scanning. To know how to connect it with your printer, you can watch my videos on the Wi-Fi setup of this printer. So this is the actual time it's taking, so you can see how long it takes for the scan. Scan is done. Now we can go and save. So click on the save button and then we can save it in any folder we want as a PDF or JPEG and then click on the save button. Next thing is printing. For example, I'm going to print a document or I can even print a photo. So whatever we want, we can do from here. To print a photo, I simply go to the photo section. Now slide out the paper tray. Now I'm going to select it. This is 5 into 7 inch photo paper. On the screen we have to select the correct paper size. Now select paper size and here we have to go down and look for 5 into 7. Click OK. Now go down paper type. Select whatever the paper type you have. That's a glossy paper. Once it is done we can click on the close button select a photo you want to print and click on the next button and then click on the print so this way we can do the so this way we can do the copy print and scan with this printer so it's very good printer for home or office use if you want to use it for printing photos printing documents you can do that So we can see the print quality is great. Thanks for watching.